How are you doing with your patient's care, Robert? Uh, well, I've got a patient with an NG tube for continuous tube feedings. Mm -hmm. Now, he's starting the feedings because he's weak, debilitated, and cannot consume enough food to meet his needs. Okay, well, let's check the chart for the type of feeding ordered, volume, and frequency. Then you should gather supplies, check the expiration date on the formula, and head over to the patient's room, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Leverick. Hello there. How are you? How's it going? Okay, Robert. This is my instructor, Miss Swenson. Hello. Hi. She'll be observing for a little bit as I give you your nutrition through your feeding tube. Okay? Sure thing. Uh, tell, uh, tell me, what's it like outside? Is it, is it cold? Uh, it's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. uh, let me take a look at your ID band, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me your name? Mm -hmm. Rich Leverick. Great, thank you. Let's the move you up a little bit, okay? Okay. Listen, I can't wait for the warm summer day. Grandkids by the pool. Oh, I like the cold myself. <laughs> you know, they say that the people that like the cold like people. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's right. Well, I like I, people. I, I think it's, it's because you stay inside so much of the time. You know? It's <laughs> obvious that you like people, too. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me put this pad on you here. Thank you, Miss Swenson. There we go. How's that? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started. You're using a pre-filled tube feeding setup. So you can start by removing the administration tubing from the package. Close the roller clamp and the slide clamp on the tubing. Okay. There's the roller clamp. And here is a slide clamp. Mm -hmm. Now you can hang the empty water bag. Let me remove the tabs. Mm -hmm. Remove the seal on the formula. Then remove the cap on the spike on the administration tubing set. Okay. Then push and twist the spike through the top of the formula bottle. There we go. Now I'll just hang the bottle on the IV pole. And squeeze the drip chamber until it's about a third to a half capacity. Okay. There we go. Now you can pour sterile water into the water bag up to the 750 milliliter mark, Robert. Okay. Sure to lip it. Okay. All right. Seven hundred and fifty milliliters, right? There we now go. Close the top and rehang. Now, what's the purpose of the water bag? Well, this particular pump will automatically provide a 25 milliliter flush every hour, which eliminates the need to do it by hand. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Great. OK, right. now insert the cassette on the tubing okay. into the pump. And close the lever on the machine. OK. Now I'll just open both clamps. Mm -hmm. So the machine will prime the tubing for you, all right? Just turn the knob clockwise to the first notch, which okay. is set rate, and it'll take a minute or two to prime. The machine is flashing set rate. So go ahead and set the rate using the arrow keys. Okay. I'll set it for 30 milliliters an hour. Okay, Robert, now it's time to get your supplies ready. Okay because you're going to aspirate the gastric contents with the syringe to check for placement of the tube. Just put some water into the container. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now I'll just unclamp the tube.
Then return the contents immediately through the tube. Then we'll flush the tube with 30 milliliters of sterile water, Robert. Okay. Things look good, so continue with the feeding. Now I'll just clamp the tube, disconnect the syringe, attach the feeding setup into the tube. Okay, and set the machine on run. Well done. And as always, document the amount and type of feeding as well as the patient's response to the procedure. Well, with a continuous feeding, it's important to check for residual, the amount of feeding remaining in the stomach, and confirm placement of the tube every four to six hours, right? Exactly right. Okay. You can also document the volume on the intake and output record if indicated. Oh, and always ensure that the head of the bed is elevated at least 30 degrees. Okay, Robert? All right. Sounds good. How are you feeling, Mr. Laverick? Fine. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate it. Nice job, Robert. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Laverick. Thank you. You know what? I think I'm just going to stay and monitor to see how he tolerates the feeding, okay? All right. Thank you.